You know, when I was six, um, I saw a lot of women just um, trying always to be pretty. And that's how you were valued. Um, I want every six-year-old girl who watches us um, to know that she's strong. It doesn't matter what she looks like, what her talents are. She has potential and she should be valued. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty passionate about this in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> the first ever U.S. Women's Championship. This is the final of the Steel Timber Sports Series. Three, two, one, go. It's extremely important to me for young girls to see strong women out there. I want to show that strong women are important women. To be the first women's champion here, it would mean a whole heck of a lot. You know, it's awesome that they finally have this championship. Just it's more recognition, it's more opportunity to do the sport that I love. This is a lot of a mental game. Uh, it's three days. The top eight here, this is the elite women uh, in the U.S. right now. It's huge, where the women can actually showcase what we can do, it's fantastic. Just because I'm a young gun doesn't mean I can't roll the big dogs. To win would be a dream come true. It's strength, it's technique, it's, it's your mental toughness. It shows that you, know, you can break the mold. The sky's the limit for us now. Breaking the mold, breaking barriers. Explosive, fast. Gotta give it all, all or nothing. In this inaugural Steel Timber Sports Women's Division Championship, 36 women from across the country competed to be the very first U.S. champion. Plenty of seasoned and young competition, but two of the competitors really stood out as the odds-on favorite in this event, Erin Lavoy and Martha King. My name is Martha King. I'm 27 years old, coming out of Chads Ford, Pennsylvania, and I work for Hearn Hardwood's Specialty Sawmill in Oxford, Pennsylvania. I chop and saw a lot of wood. Sawdust, chainsaws, axes, it's just always been a part of life. But primarily my job is to help cut exotic tone woods and do quality control, grading, matching out of book matched pieces for guitars. So we sell to Martin and Gibson. You know, I get to, to see these rare things and, and move them along and they become a guitar that somebody gets to play and then, you know, affect hundreds of thousands of people with their music. And it's, it's cool to be, you know, just a very small role in that. My name is Erin Lavoie. I'm from Spokane, Washington, 35 years old, and I own a CrossFit gym. It's a badass job, you know. I just, I work out all day, and then I coach other people in their life fitness, and it's just very rewarding, and it keeps me in really good shape for the sport. I started competing, I'd say, about 15 years ago. I don't want to just train chopping or movements that are the same as chopping and same thing with sawing. I want to train my entire body with every single strength I have just to keep well-rounded. Two days of qualifying cut the field down to the final eight. We would compete in just three disciplines. And right out of the gate, our prognosticators were dead on. Aaron Lavoie and Martha King Three, finish two, one and five, two in the five. underhand chop. Martha King just in the woods, slightly ahead of Lavoie. LaVoy can punch a ton of wood, and here she's coming at it right now. She's driving. There it is. Stand three. Erin LaVoy. Right behind her is Martha King. Erin LaVoy is taking off. She is getting ready for the stock saw. So she's incredibly focused. Here, I have the results of the underhand chop already. And in first place, with a time of 24.15 seconds, Erin LaVoy. But with only three disciplines, no one could afford to stumble on any one event. And unfortunately, that's exactly what Lavoie did on the stock saw. One incomplete disc on the deck. Top break for Aaron Lavoie. With a disqualification, left the door open for the likes of King and Kendall Cornelius and Kate Wiskowski. So it came down to the fastest time on the single buck. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh yeah, those stars are flying already, Dave. They know what they're fighting for in this team. Look at stand number one, the boys. He's bringing some anger right there. That is an incredible pace. He's giving the pass up to win in the way ahead. And a stick with Casey Dorno. And 
Kendall Cornelius knows her first cut is good enough to earn her the very first crowning of a steel women's division champion. The first ever steel tender sports 2017 women's division champion, Kendall Cornelius with 19 points. Give it up for Kendall! I think it's the same goal as every other woman has. Um, to win would be a dream come true. Um, but I think my, my true goal and my true desire for this weekend has come true just in the fact that we're here. <laughs> we're here.